Hi there, in this video series I want to go through a few of the common errors why some tools don't work and some things don't function properly in Illustrator and to try to fix them up as much as possible. So for today we'll be going over one of the common issues with the eyedropper tool. Now as you can see I'm trying to apply a color to this stroke and I'm sampling from here but it just doesn't apply anything to this shape here. This could be for a couple of reasons. The first possible reason is that the stroke is on top so therefore when I'm sampling from this one I'm actually applying the color but only to the stroke, not to the fill, and that's why I'm not able to see that. You can see once I make the stroke thicker, then I'm sampling the stroke there. So I'm applying color only to the stroke, not to the fill, and that's a possible reason why it's not working. So you'll fix that by clicking on this to make this go in front, or you can just press X on the keyboard. Another possible reason is that in the settings you set that it shouldn't pick up on that. So you can go to the settings panel by double clicking on the tool there or by pressing enter. That will open this and as you can see the focal fill is unchecked. So if you check that and you fix that up there then it will work and will sample that as well from there. Also say you've got a picture and you want to sample colors from the picture to make a color palette or whichever reason it may be and sometimes you get only a blank fill. Why is the fill not working? You're sampling everywhere and it's just not helping you there. The reason it may be is because under settings once again by double clicking there you've got here appearance checked and since this is picking up on the appearance therefore it's taking the whole appearance in the picture and the appearance is like no fill and no stroke because it's not recognized by Illustrator as any color and therefore when you pick then it applies that same settings to whatever you applying it to. So once you uncheck the appearance then it will work so nicely and smoothly. You could also even if you've got the appearance on and even if you have all these others unchecked or checked whatever the case is it doesn't matter. You press shift that will override everything and sample only the color. So that's a nice easy way to use the eyedropper tool. If you don't want to change the settings each time then you can just press shift and that will sample and override any of your settings. So I hope you gained something from this video. If you did please give a like and subscribe. Also feel free to share or post any of your ideas, suggestions, questions or just anything you want to add or share at the comments below. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.